Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and you're watching Vlog of Note. So the best smartwatch on the planet right now, at least for Android users, is the Samsung Galaxy Watch. If you're an Apple user, you're stuck with the Apple Watch Series 4. There's no hope for you. But if you're an Android user, seriously, don't buy a Wear OS smartwatch. Buy the Samsung Galaxy Watch. A couple of days back, we had a leak for the upcoming Galaxy Watch 2. So we need to talk about it. Let's get started. There is a link in the description to an exclusive from Sam Mobile right next to the like button which talks about three things basically. The first is the model number, the SMR820 or the 830 for the non-cellular version, the SMR825 or 835 for the cellular version and the SMR827 or 837 for the 5G version. Yes, your phone will not have 5G, but your smartwatch sure will. The other things are kind of less interesting. There is the color options of gold, black and silver. And there is internal storage of 4GB, which I don't think will come true. More on that later. Let's talk about release date next. The Samsung Gear S3, the best smartwatch of 2016. There is a link in the description. It's still available for 19,000 rupees. And by the way, fun fact, if you search on Amazon for Galaxy Watch, the Amazon choice product is the Samsung Gear S3 Frontier Edition. The Samsung Galaxy Gear Sport launched in 2017. It wasn't the best smartwatch. It was actually a pared down version of the Gear S3, more focused on fitness. And then the Samsung Galaxy Watch itself launched in 2018 the best smartwatch again of 2018 there is a link in the description to the amazon page where you can buy it for 29,000 rupees actually if you look at the title of that page you would not believe that it is the galaxy watch you have to check the description then the galaxy watch was followed by the galaxy watch active in early 2019 february there is no link in the description because i would not recommend that you buy this product it was a more pared down fitness focused version of the galaxy watch itself and again it took away what I consider to be the best feature of the Galaxy Watch series, the rotating bezel. And so we now arrive at the Galaxy Watch 2 which is due to launch in August of this year, possibly August 10th, 2019 along with the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 which shall ever be known as the phone without the headphone jack. Now let's talk about specifications. Keep in mind, all of these are my thoughts. I have taken into account the specifications of the Galaxy Watch itself. I will link to the specifications in the description below. I've also considered the features of the Apple Watch Series 4. I will link to that in the description below, as well as a link for you to buy it. It is available in India for the heart-stopping price of 43,000 rupees. The Galaxy Watch 2 will have the same 42 or 46 millimeter options because I think they're already plenty big for most people. It will have a larger, brighter, sharper 1.4 inch display as opposed to the 1.3 inch display currently found on the Galaxy Watch. It will have a faster Samsung Exynos 9120 processor as opposed to the 9110 currently found on the Galaxy Watch. It will have more RAM and storage of 2GB slash 1GB and 16GB slash 8GB. It will have better Bluetooth 5 connectivity with longer range and better battery life efficiency. Speaking of battery life, it will have 5 or 7 days battery life as opposed to 3 or 5 days battery life. It will have obviously a larger than 472 mAh battery and it will charge faster than 2 hours. Samsung, this is 2019. It cannot take you 2 hours to charge a 472 mAh battery. Let's all get over the Note 7 already. Hopefully, it will come with the ECG feature in as many countries as possible. And as previously mentioned, the colors will be black, silver and gold. Let's talk about price now. The Samsung Galaxy Watch itself was priced at $329 or $350 and I don't think Samsung will change the pricing. It helps it undercut the Apple Watch Series 4 while at the same time being in the same range as every other Android Wear OS watch. Speaking of operating system, it is likely that the Galaxy Watch 2 will continue to run Tizen. There were rumors that the Galaxy Watch 1 would switch over to Android Wear OS. I would not recommend Samsung do that because it helps them optimize their hardware and software when Tizen is their own operating system. Yes, it will have Bixby also. I will link in the description to the Alexa Gear application which helps you swap out Bixby for Alexa which is a way, way better virtual assistant. 
And that's about it. That's all we know and expect for the Galaxy Watch 2. What do you guys think? Please let me know in the comment section down below. What in your mind is the best smartwatch available on the planet right now and why? As always, please do subscribe to Vlog of Note on YouTube. Turn on notifications so that you never miss a video. And I will see you guys in the next one.